On a remote beach in West Africa, men desperately board a raft for a thousand mile crossing. Some leave because of conflict, most because of poverty. They take with them nothing more than the hope that a better life lies across the sea. A journey which many have tried before, each one having its own uncertain fate. In 2006, 901 rafts arrived in the Canary Islands, the UK's second most popular holiday destination. They were loaded with around 35,000 clandestine African migrants who, out of desperation, had risked the long voyage from the African coast to the Canaries. For the Canaries are part of Europe, a place of hope and opportunity. But over the past two years, at least 6,000 people have died along the way. The survivors, victims of a swindle perpetrated by the local mafia, cannot be repatriated. As the Canaries are a small place, they are normally flown in a matter of days across to the mainland, where they are served with an expulsion order and then released. Since there is effectively nowhere for them to go, they are faced with very little alternative. One of the most common destinations is the province of Almeria, especially the town of Roquetas de Mar. This is due to the high level of illegal employment in the area surrounding the city, known as El Mar de Plástico, which means the Plastic Sea. This labyrinth of greenhouses covers about 80% of Almeria's surface, leaving a desolate landscape. African immigrants, forced to live in the outskirts of the European society, gathered together in small communities occupying old abandoned houses. Within one of these houses, we find Dauda Diallo, a man not only capable of supporting his family, but one who has taken upon himself to shelter and support newcoming immigrants to the Sea of Plastic. Hace ya en agosto veo estación está lleno de africano, de mi color negro. Cuando me vine aquí, me pregunté, me dijo que son la gente que han venido de la Cayuco, de allí, para acá. Entonces, después de un mes, Roqueta está lleno. Yo antes, yo vivía solo, yo aquí con mi hermano, mi mujer, y su, mi cuñado, es una persona. Roquetas está lleno, la gente no sé dónde se va. Yo fui a Roquetas, de, para, sí. Para volver aquí, he visto dos personas en la carretera. Me han parado, me han preguntado, ellos no tienen dónde va a dormir. Hace tres días no come, no dormí, dormí en la calle. Estas tres personas, yo las traigo para acá. Cuando yo las traigo aquí, yo hablaba con mi mujer, tal, 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 tal. Me dice que no pasa nada, yo le he dejado dormir aquí. Allí venía hasta 15, 20, 30, 35, hasta 45 personas. La comida siempre, estamos haciendo todo el esfuerzo, lo que tenemos para que la gente pueda comer. Por eso, al final, lo que me estudié, cómo puedo hacer para ayudar con nosotros, el trabajo. Porque no sabe el trabajo. Yo mismo cargo el coche cinco personas, le llevo allí para buscar trabajo. Yo mismo practico con ellos, trabajo con ellos hasta las 12. 
vengo para coger la gente que no tenía trabajo para traerlo a él. Y así hacemos un poquito poco hasta que salgamos de, de, este, de este problema. Lamin Yai is one of the many lucky survivors who have passed through Dauda's doors. Even though he's only 21, he still risked his life because he couldn't bear to see his parents living in poverty. Senegal. Madrid the <laughs> These men are lucky to find Dauda, as he not only opens his house to them, but also guides, teaches, and most importantly, befriends them, providing them with the knowledge and harmony they need to survive under the burning sun of the southern Spanish coast. By doing this, Dauda is making it possible for them to be able to support themselves and then intend maybe help to support others as he's done for them. Lamin's work in the greenhouses is very hard, and in a full day's work he only earns 30 euros, which is the best wage he can get without any legal papers. Senegalese can be new, the majority. Si sabía si va a venir encontrar el trabajo, no va a venir. Ese es de verdad. Hay gente, por ejemplo, como que no tiene papel. Ha trabajado dos días, tres días, te va a parar. Si hay trabajo, te viene. ¿Por qué no tiene papel? Y la gente que tiene papel, ellos sí, ellos pueden trabajar un mes, dos meses, tres meses. Pero la gente que no tiene papel, como ellos, la dificultad que tiene aquí, no puede agarrar ni un, ni un duro. Ni un centimo. 